Welcome back here at 647. Over the years, we've brought you the stories of our veterans going on honor flights to Washington, D.C., but this may be the first time that we've gotten to experience it with them live. Yeah, we're giving you kind of a unique perspective this morning. Kevin Charette is joining us live from Washington, D.C. as he goes along with the vet these veterans, seeing the memorials built in their honor. Kev, I know this is such a big deal for our local vets. Yeah, especially where we're at right now, the Vietnam uh, Memorial. We just had a little ceremony uh, about 10 minutes ago. We took a group picture, and now they're going around the wall. Many of these veterans trying to find maybe fallen comrades, brothers, sisters, and so that's what's happening right now. They're trying to find names and uh, use a piece of paper and pencil and scribe their name to take back home with me. Right now I have Raymond Vaughn, and Raymond's on this honor flight, and we've been talking throughout. What does this trip mean to you? Well, I mean, it's great, especially uh, seeing all the names that are on this and the uh, walls of people that gave their life for our country. I mean, uh, they're really impressive. Uh, I think about every kid in uh, grammar school or high school should come there and see it and see what people have given their lives for. It's just, it's uh, real emotional, I think. What has been the best part of the trip so far for you? Oh, uh, well, this one thing this is uh, the whole thing the food <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's great and, and uh, seeing all the names again i know i really think it's great to see this we, we were here years ago but uh, you kind of losing your memory and when you come back it re reinforces the whole uh, atmosphere of the grounds here it's great what does this mean for honor flight to actually bring you here and all those many donations from folks in kern county yeah, I mean, I realize the cost of it and no guys that are willing to give her their finances to help veterans to come here. It's really been amazing. Yeah, well, you, you don't realize it until you get here. And, I mean, you read up in the paper about all the flights and you say, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that's great. But when you get here, it's completely different. Yeah, that's great. Well, we thank you for your service. Thank you. And again, this is uh, one of many stops that we're going to be taking here in Washington, D.C. But right now we'll be here probably for the next hour or so. So all of these Vietnam veterans can look at the wall and, and take in everything here. So Maddie and Alex will send it back to you. But so far, these veterans uh, are experiencing a trip of a lifetime. Many of them said that if it wasn't for Honor Flight, they probably would have never been able to come and see this with their own eyes. Yep. I truth. love that. I love that. The, the donations made here, uh, you know, by the people here in Kern County are making this possible. That's what I love about what Kevin, what you're doing right now is we, we, we have all of these fundraisers throughout the year where we're trying to raise money to send mm -hmm. our veterans to our nation's capital. This is exactly what we're seeing right here. This is where the money is going. And look at all those veterans. Uh, behind you, Kev. I mean, it really is just a great thing to see. And no cost to them. Yeah. No cost to them. Yeah. Yeah, no cost to them whatsoever. Some have smiles, some have shed tears, but every single dollar that Kern County donates, this is where your money is going, right here for these veterans. Yeah. And again, a lot of them would not be able to make it here if it wasn't for Honor Flight. So thank you, Kern County, and thank you, Honor Flight. Amen. All right, Kev, thanks so much.